I'm Danny, and I'm going to talk about things women did to be beautiful even though it was painful. One of those things that women and girls did was the lotus feet. They were Chinese tradition. The lotus feet start in the 10th century. There are two stories. One, in the 10th century, an emperor talked with his concubine to bless her feet in form of a crescent moon and do a dance. This was very elegant that other women copied. It's a year who loses her shoe and after comes into the hands of a king. He is impressed by how small is it, so he looks for its owner and from there the hobby of small feet began. They were girls and women, but it was seen more in girls with better resources, because since they were going to need their feet so much, because they had servants to do everything for them, because they couldn't walk, it was very difficult for them. It was done between the age of four and nine so that the foot would but fully develop. They usually did it in cold weather so that the foot be asleep. They started was the wet the foot with warm water with herbs and animal blood that was supposed to soften the skin. Then they cut the nails as short as possible. Then they curved the fingers and the edge of the foot with great force. Finally, they bandaged the foot and sewed it. They bandaged so that the gears would not loosen it. They removed the bandage only to wash the feet or to coat the nails. They never blessed his feet because when, see, when he saw the face of suffering, he would stop doing it. Yes, they were shoes of Syrah by girls and women with lotus feet because their instructor served for a supper or to walk. 3. Gold lotus, 11 cm or less. Silver lotus, 13 cm, iron lotus, 15 cm or more. The iron lotus, he was the least desired for the marriage. Infection appear and the feet don't have good circulation to the tank bandage. This infection could end up with the toes. Some like this infection because they could tighten the bandage more. Sometimes they put glasses between the bandage to provoke them. Thanks for your attention. Bye!